Because when thou vowest a vow, there's another thing that preachers like to get people to do. Committee. Walking an aisle, saying a prayer, raising a hand, vowing a vow. When thou vowest a vow unto God, defer not to pay it. For he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. I've spoken with some over the years that have been troubled in the early years where they were brought to make a vow and then realized they had inadvertently said things they should not have. I don't believe this is written here to scare those because we know if the Lord has taught us in Christ his debt, he's paid every debt. We are free indeed in him, but this is written to those who think that by their many words they shall be heard of God. So it's like Christ did with the Pharisees. He came down hard on those that said, you know, we still need to keep the law. Okay, let me tell you about the law. Better is it that thou shouldst not vow than that thou shouldst vow and not pay. There's nothing wrong with silence before the Lord. But men will try to get you to speak or to say something or commit. They, they're always poking at you. Aren't you gonna aren't you gonna commit? This other your neighbor did, what, what are you going to do? But it's better not to vow. 